Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are One Connect, a social enterprise based in Glasgow, which aims to empower individuals by increasing technology and digital participation. Part of our profits from our organization go towards running our free IT classes and befriending events in the community. Today, we're talking about something crucial for online success website speed. A slow website can kill your SEO. So we're diving into five practical tips to boost your site's speed and climb those search rankings. We'll cover everything from optimizing images to leveraging CDNs. Trust me, these tips are game changers. A faster website means happier visitors, lower bounce rates, and ultimately, a higher ranking on Google, Bing, you name it. First up, let's talk images. High resolution images look fantastic, but they can also be massive files that slow down your website. The good news is, you don't have to sacrifice image quality for speed. Tools like TinyPeng and JPEG Optimizer compress images without significantly impacting their visual appeal. You just drag and drop your images, and they handle the compression magic. You'll be surprised how much smaller your image files can get without any noticeable quality loss. Compressing each image can drastically reduce the overall page load time. This is a huge win for user experience and SEO. Google, in particular, loves fast-loading websites. So, optimizing your images is a no-brainer. It's a simple yet incredibly effective way to boost your website speed. Remember, every kilobyte saved counts. Start compressing those images today. Next up is browser caching. This technique leverages the user's own browser to speed things up. Essentially, you allow your website to store certain files, like images and scripts, directly on the visitor's device. On subsequent visits, the browser can load these files from the user's cache instead of downloading them again. This dramatically reduces the amount of data that needs to be transferred each time someone visits your site. Faster load times equal happier users and better SEO. Enabling browser caching is usually a server-side configuration. If you're using a content management system like WordPress, there are plugins that can handle this for you automatically. It's a relatively simple tweak with a significant impact. So, take advantage of browser caching to keep your website running smoothly. Every element on your web page, from images and scripts to style sheets and fonts, requires a separate HTTP request. Minimizing these requests is crucial for speed. One effective way to do this is by combining files. For example, if you have multiple CSS files, combine them into one. The same goes for JavaScript files. This reduces the number of back and forth trips the browser needs to make. Another strategy is to remove unnecessary elements altogether. A cleaner, more streamlined website will almost always load faster. Analyzing your website's HTTP requests can reveal areas for improvement. Developer tools in browsers like Chrome or Firefox can provide insights into which requests are taking the longest. By minimizing HTTP requests, you're decluttering your website's communication channels, allowing for a faster, more efficient flow of information. Like what you see? Like, share and hit that subscribe button for more tech tips and tutorials. We've got everything from beginner basics to advanced strategies. A CDN, or Content Delivery Network, is like having a network of servers around the world that store copies of your website's content. When a user visits your site, the CDN automatically serves the content from the server closest to their location. This drastically reduces latency, which is the delay before a transfer of data begins following an instruction for its transfer. Lower latency means faster load times, especially for users located far away from your main server. CDNs are particularly beneficial for websites with a global audience. Many popular CDN providers offer easy integration with various platforms. Setting up a CDN can often be done with just a few clicks, making it a simple way to boost your website's global reach and speed. Finally, let's talk about server response time. This is the time it takes for your server to respond to a request from a user's browser. If your server is slow, everything else will be slow. Choosing a reliable hosting provider is paramount. A good host will have robust infrastructure and optimized servers to ensure fast response times. Optimizing your database is also essential. Regularly cleaning up unnecessary data and optimizing queries can make a big difference. Monitoring your server's performance is key. 
Tools like Pingdom or GT Metrics can provide insights into your server response time and identify potential issues. Invest in quality hosting and optimize your database to ensure your server is running at peak performance. And there you have it, folks. Five easy tips to speed up your website and boost your SEO. From optimizing images and leveraging browser caching to utilizing CDNs and minimizing HTTP requests, these strategies can significantly improve your website's performance. Remember, a faster website leads to a better user experience, lower bounce rates, and ultimately, higher search engine rankings. If you found this video helpful, like, share and hit that subscribe button for more tech tips and tutorials. We've got everything from beginner basics to advanced strategies. Share the knowledge. Help us spread the word by sharing this video with your friends and family. Want to learn more? Visit our website, link in the description, for in-depth articles and expert advice. We're here to help you level up your digital skills. Got feedback? Leave a comment below and let us know what you think. We're always looking for new ideas for future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time and stay safe.